We're halfway through the Clash Royale League West regular season and players are pulling out all the stops to make it to Shanghai, China. Hello, I'm Rich Slayton and this is your top five plays from week four of Clash Royale League West. Before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and turn on notifications so you never miss a moment of the action. Starting things off with our number five play, it's Canario against I Am JP, the golden haired golden boy from Barcelona, Spain, up against the giant slayer of Team Liquid and they are in a race in sudden death overtime. Next tower to fall means GG well played and you see Canario able to catch the first hog rider and go in hard in the opposite direction but check out the push from imjp hog rider comes in snowball earthquake triple spell and oh my gosh that was a whole lot of towers slow motion shows that the princess tower of jp and the king tower of canario go down at the exact same time but three crowns beats two team queso came out with a big time victory over the defending world champions in our next matchup also team liquid this time it's Igor against Vitor of Pain Gaming and check out this prediction that comes in on Igor's side just when that bomb tower comes out lightning takes care of the bomb tower Ewis and puts the royal giant right on tower on the right hand side Igor trying his best to hard carry for team liquid on to number three it's Buffmack of Tribe Gaming against Belican of Cream Royale Betis in the final moments. They are so very close and both win conditions come out balloon one direction. Royal Giant comes out the other and Belican perfectly blocks the Fisherman played by Buffmack, which would have saved that left hand tower with his Goblin Cage. Admitted later that it was a happy accident, but still a great play to pull both the balloon and get his Royal Giant that winning blow. Our number two play, Canario against Lucas. Lucas goes for the Juke Barrel in the back and check out the Heal Spirit for the King Tower activation. What a creative way to get that King Cannon involved in the game against Bait. Look at that one more time. You put that Heal Spirit on that back left corner of the King Tower against the Juke Barrel, pulls the Goblin and gets the King Tower activation. Very nice play from a seasoned veteran. Our top play of the week, strap in folks, it's gonna be a while. It's Javi Catorze up against Lapakati of Space Station Gaming. SK currently undefeated in their Clash Royale League Western run and this play shows part of why Javi Catorze has been so darn good and this magic archer looks like he's about to go down but over and over again look at the protection this is unbelievable so much elixir spent by Lapakati just trying to get the white haired magician off the board but those arrows keep on coming all the way around to the next barb hut and finally Lapakati gets that magic archer off the board after so much work and you can see the peanut gallery here on the left hand side throws the archer emote everyone's looking at that going Javi Catorze is doing some magic on the board if it worked once why not do it again magic archer comes down and again take a look at that heal spirit ice golem hunter this magic archer a thorn in the side of lapakati can't seem to take care of it at all and javi keeps the pressure on and oh yeah that battle healer not getting there again this magic archer these magic archers in general had better security than the pope and more protection than the president of the usa you see lapakati can't believe it disgusted that he could not get to that magic archer javi gatorze helping Take SK Gaming to that perfect 5-0 record on their run to Shanghai, China. We have four more weeks of regular season action, guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a moment of this run. And check out our next video. See you this next weekend for Clash Royale League West.